Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We're going to get you caught up on some rain totals. Of course, we talked about how this uh, last system was going to impact northern California, north of the Bay Area, and then into Santa Cruz. And that's exactly what happened. The rain came in hard last night, uh, anywhere from uh, three to almost four inches of rain up in the Santa Cruz Mountains in a short period of time. So it's a good thing that the front was actually moving when it came through our area as opposed to what it did up in the North Bay where it sat and put down 10 to 21 inches of rain. Uh, that's why the flooding's up there. Uh, 0.65 Capitola, about a three quarters of an inch in Santa Cruz. Uh, the valleys, of course, a lot less is usually the case, a half an inch to almost three quarters, so a little more than that in Coralitas, less than that in Aromas, and you head into Watsonville, less than a half an inch. South of there, very, very little. Salinas Valley did get some, uh, just about a tenth to two tenths there. Very little here in Salinas, 0.03, just a few showers. Same thing over the peninsula. Uh, that batch of moisture just moved off to the east, and that was it. And uh, we still got some showers, of course, so we'll add to those totals uh, throughout the course of this evening. There's another frontal band coming through right now. We talked about that wind shift. It's still a south wind ahead of the front and more of a westerly wind behind it. And it is that westerly component, that uh, wind that's just coming in right off of the ocean. So we do not have a clearing front. We do not have a, an area where I could say behind this we're going to clear out. It's just a moist flow coming straight in from the west. And there are going to be potential showers as we go through the next couple of days. And then we're going to get into more of a steady rain. Look what's out towards the Hawaiian Islands, another atmospheric river, area of low pressure. Not as strong as the last one that came in. But this one looks like it's going to head right for us as opposed to Northern California. So we'll keep you posted as we go through the next couple of days, get the timing and the actual location down for that. Futurecast shows that frontal boundary coming through right now. So we got showers continuing on and off, uh, scattered to numerous showers right through your evening. And then we'll kind of go back to just some very isolated showers tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. Not a lot going on tomorrow afternoon in terms of rain, but a lot of cloud cover, still moist, still a chance of a shower. So we'll do that through Thursday night. Friday morning, we should basically be dry outside of a slight chance of a shower, but then that system's arriving from Hawaii. So here we go. Friday late in the day, we're watching the trend of rain approaching the coast. So again, the timing will probably shift a little, but we'll say late day or evening hours. This is 8 o'clock at night. We got wind and rain Friday night into Saturday morning. The Sierra gets hit again, and it could be pretty heavy up in the Sierra. Snow levels will be pretty high with this. And the rain will continue into Saturday morning. We'll go back to showers Saturday evening, numerous showers Saturday night, and then continued showers probably into Sunday, although it should be the drier day of the weekend. The Sierra, by the way, is still getting snow all weekend long, Friday night, Saturday, Saturday night, and Sunday. So travel, you know, I don't know. We'll see. You know, the road's probably going to close again. Futurecast uh, talking about the showers tonight, so we'll keep those in the forecast, 46 to 50. Diminishing winds, though, behind the front mostly cloudy overnight and temperatures right around 50 degrees. So there's not a lot of cold air coming with any of these systems if they're coming from Hawaii for a visit. 53 to 62 tomorrow, chance of showers, light winds, kind of a tranquil day overall considering uh, what's on the way for the weekend. Mid 50s to around 60, so still fairly mild and about seasonable in terms of temperatures. So let's take you through the next uh, eight days here with our KSW eight day forecast. So we got a dry day for the most part Thursday. Friday, we got a lot of clouds moving in. Showers probably arriving late in the day. So most of the day on Friday should be dry. Then Saturday, we have impact conditions. Saturday with rain, rain Saturday night. Some leftovers probably on Sunday, but drying out. A break on Monday. And then that next system coming in Tuesday and Wednesday. There's something for the following weekend. So we'll just keep going with the rain. We are out of the drought. We filled up the reservoirs. We're trying to fill up San Antonio and Nacimento now. We've still got a long ways for those. Yeah. But we're working on that. And the Sierra snowpack, as you know, is huge. It's huge. And so when that starts to melt, there are going to be problems associated with that yeah. as well. All right. Thanks. Lee. Oh.